Hi guys, good morning. So, today I'm going to show you what I do when I have a sale. I have, I made six sales over the weekend. And so I will show you how to pack and the print labels off of eBay and ship the item. So basically what I do in the morning is check on messages and see if I get sales or questions from buyers and then I take care of those. I ship the same day, payment clears by noon. So even if I package the sold items already, I wait until after noon before I take them to the post office to make sure that I'm not missing any orders that need to be shipped that day. Um, I live close by the post office and I can actually just put them outside my door and have the postman pick it up but I'd rather bring them in myself to the post office and have them scan them there. So anyway that's what I'm going to do today, show you how I pack and ship, print labels and ship. All right. So here are the sales I made over the weekend. A Waterford Marquee Cross, 7 inches. A set of candlestick verdigris style, a monkey pod wooden tray, a set of vintage silverware, it's a five piece setting and there's four settings on this one. A vintage ceiling light cover. I sold one pair of jeans, women's jeans. The jeans sold for $17 plus shipping. The pair of candlesticks sold for $25.75 plus shipping. And then the monkey pod it's just a tray, it's $12.99 plus shipping. The four piece, the four place, five piece setting for the silverware sold for $79.96 plus shipping. What's that? The Waterford Crystal Cross sold for fourteen seventy five plus shipping. And the Vintage Light Replacement Glass Shade sold for $43.88 plus shipping. And this is how I pack my stuff. They're all expensive, aren't they? I get my shipping supplies from eBay. The bubble wrap, um, the peanut, packing peanuts, First step, before I put it in, I print a packing slip off of my eBay store and then I put a personalization there. I like to do that and I put a little note that says your purchase is truly appreciated. Thank you so much. Stay well. 
Here it goes. It goes in there. After I have the package in the box, I weigh it. This package weighs two pounds and one ounce, one point five ounces. So I'm going to purchase shipping label from eBay, and I will just round it to two pounds and two ounces. So I will print that. Go print shipping label, and I will do a custom size. And it's two pounds two ounces and then they ask for the dimension I have my tape measure handy I'm shipping these silverware I'm just going to stick it in the priority mail flat rate envelope the flat rate price to ship it so it doesn't matter how heavy it is as long as it fits in this envelope here which is USPS provided I'm good to go and just stick it in there and it fits so I printed the packing slip Put a personalized thank you note. It's two pounds four ounces. That's it's going to be a flat rate pricing, so this package is going to Santa Ana, California. Make sure you don't tape the barcode. Isn't that pretty? It's a um, Marquis Waterford Crystal. My friend from Wichita donated this. She sent me a lot of stuff vintage stuff and uh, she said to use the money towards the feeding program that we Michael and I started when we lived there we have a Saturday feeding program and art class for the kids there in our area in the Philippines said whatever money I made out of those items that she she gave me that's where it goes to the ministry which is kind of nice and this is the first sale I have from her, from her stuff except that right now we are not doing it because of the COVID-19 so it will just be sitting in a fund for whenever. I'm actually thinking of sending the money towards Christmas so that they could buy stuff for the kids for Christmas. That's what, that's what I was thinking of doing. But then again, maybe the this COVID crisis would be over by then, so we can start the feeding program and the art class again. So there it is. Now I have to be really careful in packing this so it gets to the buyer safely. Here is one of those boxes I got from Dylan's that I can use. I put in some packing peanuts 
and then put in the then I go print the shipping packing slip It's one pound, four ounces. Ten by seven. Ten by seven by five. This one is going to Texas. Here it is. This will need a lot of peanuts. A box full of peanuts. But I will still wrap it in bubble wrap. I know it's a pain in the neck to ship things like this, but these things really are my, I, there's one of my big money maker. Um, I paid six dollars for this, I believe, and I sold it. I sold it for forty-eight dollars. So good return. Do it with. It's not touching the top. I have to put very fragile on every side just to make sure that they know that this is breakable. Now, the next one. I know they're metal, but I still want to wrap them in bubble wrap. A majority of my items that I have on eBay are hard goods, and um, you've probably seen in one of my blogs that I like to pick up those breakables. So I have to make sure that I'm stocked up on bubble wraps and peanut packing peanuts. So here is a pair of candlesticks. I use two Dylan's paper sack. So the last one we're gonna ship is this Ebok for Express Jeans. This is going to Las Vegas. nicely and put put it in this plastic here it is fix the label and ship it. It's one pound and eight ounces. Cost six ninety four on a flat rate envelope. I have a ten percent discount on eBay because I am a top rated seller. So I get, I get some discount. So I'm done packing and um it's 12 o'clock so i will go to the post office and drop these six items there it is guys like i said um i get discounts from ebay between 10 percent 
to 20% I believe on shipping because I am one of the top sellers so I get discounts for their shipping.